Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Lee Hillier. I'm the Managing Director of MMD Australia, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to mine smarter and load quicker. So just a very short disclaimer. So today I'm going to talk about why we've got a problem, how MMD have solved it, and how mining companies are reaping the rewards. So we look at surface mining from its origins in 1909 with the very first steam shovel, 1912 and 1941. Not a lot of change there. And then we move forward into the modern day, again, 1909, 1969, and 2019. It's a period of 110 years with no change, no difference. And some would say, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yet other industries have propelled into the future. But sometimes change is good. But if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. So what is the problem? All around the world, the shovel is regarded as an essential investment for mining. However, when partnered with trucks, their efficiency drops drastically. Safety being paramount, the shovel is forced to wait while each truck maneuvers into position. Loading raw material directly into the truck is challenging. A fluctuating volume of material in each shovel bucket and the size of rocks results in a variable fill factor for each truck. This can lead to truck bed damage or underutilization. The number of shovel swings and the time required to fill each truck becomes unpredictable due to the material digging process. The impact of irregular loading wreaks havoc with fleet cycle times, with trucks getting congested or too spread out, leaving the shovel waiting again. These issues are repeated time and time again with each truck. So how do we change what we've always done? To not get what we've always got. We change how we do it. We decouple the shovel from the truck. So today I'm going to talk about the MMD fully mobile surge loader. So what would be on your surface mining wish list? Increased production? Reduce the number of trucks, reduce OPEX. Let us show you how. The truck and shovel are two of the most underutilized pieces of equipment in any surface mine. MMD have changed that by decoupling the shovel from the truck. So why is it underutilized? Shovel waiting on trucks truck bunching, and inefficient and inconsistent fill factors. MMD have the solution. But now, introducing the very latest innovation from MMD, the fully mobile surge loader. A mobile feeder designed to tackle intermittent loading in truck and shovel operations. Firstly, trucks are spotted using the latest 3D cameras and RFID technology or simple mechanical markers to assist truck alignment. Trucks are loaded faster than when they're loaded directly by the shovel in a method that is also safer and reduces wear on the truck fleet. The shovel operator continues loading unrestricted while the hopper stockpiles material ready for delivery to the trucks maximizing shovel utilization to nearly 
the surge loader provides the optimum fill level to every truck via material level detectors. This ensures each truck is hauling the maximum capacity. With the shovel working continuously and the trucks spotting and loading faster, the system efficiency increases. The answer to truck and shovel inefficiencies is here. The MMD Fully Mobile Surge Loader. MMD Green Mining Solutions. And some of you might be thinking, hey great, fancy animation, seen it all before, you can show anything on animation. But this is actually a hybrid of two e existing technologies. And for MMD it's not anything new. In 2004, MMD successfully implemented a feeder loading system in Colombia. A drag line fed the MMD stations which were capable of loading several trucks simultaneously a solution which is still in operation today. The 2013 fully mobile sizer, perfected in China, provides the basis for making the surge loader a mobile solution. The integrated hopper, feeder, and twin crawlers all feature on the new MMD design. Proven technology from Colombia and China combined in the fully mobile surge loader. And to let you on, in on a little secret, um, we're actually going to have our first unit in operation in three months' time. So we're pretty excited about that. So just to summarise some of the production advantages, faster loading. We can fill a 300 tonne truck in just 75 seconds. That's about 95 seconds from truck entering to exiting four tonne of material every single second. Increased production rates. So typically an increase up to 40% in production. Many people talk about one, two percent. This is 40% increase in production. Or maintain your current production rates and remove trucks from your fleet, reducing your OPEX and increase the utilisation of the shovel to up to 95%. It reduces the truck weighting and bunching. We can load a truck in one and a half minutes or 95 seconds. The equivalent truck and shuffle method takes over three minutes to load a truck, a reduction of 50%. We can do it in half the time. So safety advantages, it reduces the injury to the risk of injury to the truck driver, it places him further away from the shovel, and it removes shock loading of the trucks, and many of you would have saw uh, John Welburn's uh, presentation earlier uh, yesterday, showing the truck driver shaking around in the truck. This is happening every minute of every day in every mine in the world. And precision loading of the trucks, so we will know every truck will be filled with a very, very small accuracy. And there's no spotting or reversing required, so it paves the way for a fully autonomous mining system. So just some key advantages of the surge loader. Increase your production rates up to 40%. Fewer trucks required for the same production rates. An improved, improved fill factor to 95%, better utilization of the existing equipment, do more with what you've got, less wear and tear on the trucks, improve safety, place the truck driver further away from the truck and no shock loading, and it's fully autonomous. MMD, we're the market leader in mining innovation and we're changing the future of mining. Any questions? Yes. Roughly how many analysis of different mine operations have been done and what have we found between those stages? Good question. Um, we've probably done maybe 20, 25 
simulations um, and we found probably the range is anything from about 15% as a minimum up to 40% and beyond as a maximum. And uh, the way that we work is we give each mining company a questionnaire, they give us the data, we do a simulation, we give them the feedback and they do the analysis. Most large mining companies have done the analysis and, and they can't break our figures. Our figures are very conservative and um, yeah, we're very excited about this. Yes. Um, so, uh, <laughs> this is a prelude to a presentation that I'll be doing on the main stage later and we are um, looking to implement this into an ore sorting system. So the complete solution would be sizing, uh, ore sorting and loading. And um, yeah, if you guys are going to hang around, we'll I'll do a presentation later on that whole system. Right. Okay, thanks, Lee. Thank you. Thank you.